Now here it is, the Los Angeles Bureau of the Wall Street Journal. Excuse me, my name is Jim Linefiller. I'm with Neat Stuff, and I'm here looking for a guy named Steve Sansweet. He's the bureau chief here, yeah. Any signs of his uh, Star Wars obsession? No, not in the office. Hi, excuse me, Steve? Yeah. Hi, Jim Leinfelder, Neat Stuff. Oh, hi, Jim. We've heard about your Star Wars collection. We're here to do a story. Oh, okay. Uh, but, you know, I'm looking around the office here, and I, I see some nice little items, but I'm not seeing anything Star Wars. Well, this is the Wall Street Journal, you know. It's not the Lucasfilm Journal. My Star Wars stuff is at home. Well, can you step away for a few hours? Well, I think so. It's uh, close to the end of the day. Why don't we uh, take, a, take a look? You're the bureau chief, oh, after all. Okay. A couple of Star Wars things some, here and there. A few things, but uh, this isn't exactly uh, what I was expecting, well, Steve. come on along. Come on along. And there's a light here. Oh, wow. So this is it, huh? No, Jim. You're still not quite there yet. This is some of the uh, other stuff. Non-Star Wars. Pick up the pace. Pacing. I'm finding it a little hard to believe there's actually more to the collection. I mean, just be, just be careful. Ah! You have to watch out for the stormtrooper. Why am I not surprised? Don't let this guy fool you. Oh, sure, he plays his Star Wars pinball game with the abandon of a teenager. No! But don't be naive. Steve Sansweet looks at Star Wars merchandise with the same level of scrutiny that investors bring to the Wall Street Journal stock listing. This piece, which sold for about $3 new, is now getting somewhere between $500 and $800, which is crazy. He's got Star Wars movie props. I sort of consider myself uh, uh, Skywalker Ranch South. If something happens up there, I've got at least a couple of pieces down right, there. Right, a backup collection. That's right. Sansweet has literally written the book, two of them in fact, on Star Wars collecting. This guy's got a serious Star Wars Jones. The journalist uh, does not uh, make a fortune in his job, and so the rise in California housing prices enabled me to refinance the house several times, and I used that money mainly to, uh, to buy Star Wars stuff. Do you tell the banker that when you come in to... Oh, so well, paper. not exactly. They usually don't ask, so I usually don't say. This is for a C-3PO helmet. Uh, something like that. <laughs> something like that. It's been money well spent, though. You're not likely to see neat stuff like this anyplace else. Uh, here's a speeder bike helmet from uh, Return of the Jedi. Right, yeah. and through all the trees. Well, I don't think this guy quite made it. Yeah. He didn't weave close enough. Here we see his eyepiece is shattered. Here's a yeah. Han Solo prop gun. Here we have some pieces of the famous Death Star. Not. Doesn't want to come out. These are the uh, holographic chess pieces from the first movie, Leia's wrist communicator. These are uh, C-3PO's hands. I won't even ask what he did when he had to go to the men's room. Uh... <laughs> this, of course, is... Uh, the father, yes. Darth Vader. This costume was actually used in the making of The Empire Strikes Back. And, of course, this is not an authentic lightsaber. They right. didn't use a neon tube. That would be a little difficult. Wouldn't last through many takes, I wouldn't think. But this is a real lightsaber. This is what they really use. This is a Jedi lightsaber. It was made for uh, Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader. And it's funny. I mean, they, they use found objects all over the place. The, uh, the blade is actually a German surplus tank antenna with the perfect dimensions. The force is strong in this world. Not. And there are very special uh, uh, figures that are... Uh, uh, you know, wait a minute here. This may be a bootleg here. Uh, yeah, that's... Steve Sansweet action figure. That's not, uh, not break. available at your neighborhood store. Uh, me as a Jedi Master, yes. <laughs> I'm afraid, uh, while I may aspire to that, I'm not quite there yet. I think he's, he's gone around the bend here, folks. 